welcome back guys this is question 4.2 and the statement of it is the probability distribution of the discrete random variable x is given as f of x which is 3 choice x 1 by 4 raised to the power x and 3 by 4 raised to power 3 minus x for all the value of x which ranges from 0 to 3 we have to find the mean of x okay so previously we have seen that the mean of any random variable expected value of x is always represented as from i equal to 1 up to n and the value of the random variable multiplied by with its probability density function here okay so here we can see that the values of i are basically ranges from 1 up to 4 because x1 is 0, x2 is 1, x3 is 2 and x4 is 3. Okay, So the values of uh, x1, x2, x3 and x4 are given which are here we can very clearly see but we do not know the value of f of x. So for x1 equal to 0 let me find the value of f of 0 so putting this value here in this formula i will have 3 choice 0 okay 1 by 4 0 because this is x and 3 by 4 3 minus x so 3 minus 0 is 3 okay so solving it 3 choice 0 is what this is 1 multiplied by 1 by 4 raised to power 0 is 1 multiplied by 3 raised to power 3 divided by 4 this will be 27 divided by 64 so ultimately we will get 27 divided by 64 this is for f of 0 now for x of 2 equal to 1 here the value of x2 is 1 so we will have f of 1 equal to what this would be 3 choice 1 1 by 4 raised to power x which is 1 and 3 by 4 raised to power what this would be 3 minus x 3 minus 1 that is 2 okay so let me solve it 3 choice 1 is how much that is 3 multiplied by 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 and here 3 3 9 divided by 16 okay so again 27 divided by 64 as well okay uh, similarly x3 equal to 2 okay we can see that x3 is equal to 2 yes so let me put the value of f of 2 here so f of 2 would be what this would be 3 choice 2 which is x okay 1 by 4 raised power x so x is now 2 okay and 3 by 4 raised to power 3 minus x so 3 minus 2 is 1 here as well okay so 3 choice 2 is what this would be 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 2 is 1 factor and this is this is again 3 okay 3 so this would be 1 over 16 and multiplied by 3 over what 3 over 4 okay so i will have here 9 over 64 this is for f of 2 now let me move down somehow to solve it for what x of 4 equal to 3 this is f of what this is f of 3 and here we will have the value of x is 3 so now 3 choice 3 okay 1 over 4 rest power 3 because this is x and also 3 over 4 3 minus 3 is 0 okay so 3 choice 3 is how much this is 1 okay 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 3 this is 0 divided by 3 factorial so i will get 1 so here i will have 1 over what 1 over 64 and this is 1 so i will get over 1 over 64 okay so these are all the values and we have got different values let me uh, plot them here as well so here we have all the values of what we have all the values of x and f of x okay so the value of x are 0 1 2 and 3 okay so here here 
and here ok. So, this 0 is basically what this is let me see that x f of 0 is 27 by 64 ok f of 1 is also 27 by 64 ok this f of 2 which is calculated is 9 by 64 ok and this f of 3 this is 1 over 64 if you add them together if you all add them all together you will see that 27 by 64 27 by 64 9 by 64 and 1 by 64 you will get at the end what 1 so this is what this is the probability density function ok you can also plot it uh, as a pdf plot now as you have found it out you can find here the expected value which is e of x and for e of x you have to multiply the values which are here with the corresponding values of their probabilities as we have previously seen so let me multiply them together and it would be 0 multiplied by what 27 by 64 plus 1 multiplied by 27 by 64 okay 2 multiplied by 9 by 64 okay and 3 multiplied by 1 over 64 okay let me add them together it will be 0 plus 27 by 64 okay plus this is 2 multiplied by 9 so 18 over 64 and here it will be 3 over 64 okay so adding them together and taking the lcm let me take the lcm of it and here i will get the lcm and it would be 64 so 0 plus 27 plus 3 plus 18 okay so it will become 48 by 64 or these two are the multiples of 16 so i will also get 3 over 4 okay so the expected value of the random variable which we had here in the form of the formula we have found out its expected value okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have found out the mean of a random variable which we were given so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon